Um, just gonna kind of get set up here. Has been a bit, buddy. Do you remember Raria is dealing Nicole? with um, the doppelganger again? I thought the doppelganger was like a one-time thing. I thought maybe these routes would kind of cut out some of that stuff. But uh, but no, the, the doppelganger is back. Mute, my, mute myself, but I'll put the stream on. The doppelganger is back again. Um, so we're going to have to deal with it. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Obviously, uh, doppelgangers take advantage of Raria's emotional state. Um, it's duplicating itself with, um, her former self and also, um, our main character, Suzumu. So it takes on two forms. And the Suzumu form is basically saying, oh, I can see your your past self and you at the same time and like but but it's all lies like none of the stuff that she's she's thinking is happening is really happening i don't think i don't think i don't think her fake self is influencing her at all now somehow her food disappeared off her plate though so the doppelganger slash the curse of um rokugamihiko can at least take control somewhat so it is kind of like um uh the main character or main character's you know lover or whatever toei kurakami it's kind of like her you know where um the curse can kind of take control depending on circumstances um so you don't just get knocked out i guess the curse takes a hold of you and can physically manipulate things but anyway we're gonna continue Subjective double syndrome? Correct. In ancient times, they called it shadow sickness. One's shadow, in other words, their other self. There's ghost stories all over the world, passed down from generation about how you'll die if you meet your other self. As in your doppelganger. That's what they're thought of as in, in Japan, but in, uh, or excuse me, in America and the West. But in Japan, they were thought to be the you that sleepwalked. Lilia-chan-ga, and Riria has subjected double syndrome? Is she like doing the performance in class? Like turning into something else? As I said before, the curse feeds off mental trauma. But Nunakawa has been cruising in school and work, and she says she doesn't uh, think there's anything troubling her. It's not that odd to be unaware of your own mental trauma. But you see, she's had a bit of a history with psychotherapy. You mean like when they hypnotize you with a pendulum? Hmm, <laughs> you're not that far off. But anyway, as a result, I learned something really interesting. Her hauntings take the form of a child version of herself that taunts her and drives her up the wall. That's likely her mental trauma. She, she must, excuse me. She must feel she can't separate her current self from her grade school idol self. 
When she was at the peak of her popularity. I thought she was still popular. It might work, look that way to us, but it's a little more complicated than that. Her current popularity seems to lack the fevered pitch of her past popularity. Perhaps she's only popular because she used to be Magical Girl Lily. She grew up to be a very beautiful adolescent woman. But she doesn't look like she used to anymore. So even though she's not Magical Lily, everybody wishes she could be Magical Lily? Mm, I think that's how she feels. It's so tragic. In many cases, our youth is the peak of our long lives. After that, things slowly move downhill with time and age. So in old age, we can look back on the peak fondly. But Riri is in a position that takes most people decades to reach. Right, her whole world changed in just a couple years. Everyone's become sad about losing their youth and getting old. But it's not like they age rapidly. It takes decades, allowing them time to come to peace with it. Bereria had experienced that in t barely 10% of the time it normally takes. It was like she was Rick Van Winkle, aging decades in what felt like the blink of an eye. I can't stand the way modern society puts child idols on a pedestal. Society... Society forces these idols to reach the peak of their lives far too early, only to end it in the blink of an eye, leaving them self-loathing messes the rest of their lives. She's the victim of that kind of culture. I hate to do this, but it's... It's like... It, it's not even loud, it's the fact that the voices are coming out quiet on my headphones. So I gotta turn up the sound. Think she's the victim of that kind of thing? But I don't think she feels that way. She's so strong to power through all that. You're right. I know she's a hard worker. She doesn't cut corners whether it comes to studying or practicing. I don't think there's any way her efforts would go unnoticed. Maybe the only reason they let her join the Flower High School was because she was the former Magical Girl Lily. But now, I believe everybody would realize how brilliant Riri Kurusu is in her own right. I certainly hope so. Somewhat reluctantly, Miss Hinagata took out her phone. After tapping it for a while, she showed me the screen. What's this? I don't, I don't have time to explain it, but it's essentially a place where insensitive people are free to spew out whatever nasty thoughts they might have. It's called the internet. Have you, have you ever heard of it? Farewell, Magical Lily. Memorial Service Part 24. My waifu. I'm sick of Ruria Club. Ruria Kursu is ruining Flower High's image. 
Remove Riri Kirisu from Flower High Petition Part 6. This is horrible. The brighter one shines, the darker the shadow. For as many uh, passionate fans that she has, she has an equal number of critics. The thread titles alone made me want to look away. If it was hurting me that much to look at it, she knows about all this. To make it worse, she looks at them every time she finishes a gig. Put this cell phone away. But why? It only hurt to look at them. She has a pet theory that idols turn criticism into strength. She probably believes people will eventually recognize how hard she's worked. So she, keeps, so she keeps checking, hoping with all her heart to find those who do. You mean she looks at this every day? I keep telling her to stop, but she doesn't listen. In between lessons and before she went to bed, she would check rumors on the internet like it was a drug. She kept looking day after day, believing that the countless slanders would eventually turn into praise. Uh, that was, uh, poison, though. A poison of the heart. If it were only a little, then perhaps it could have been an invigorating spark to turn that criticism into strength, just like she said. But this was too much. I continued scrolling down the screen, but the hateful comments just kept going. This is her trauma. Those emotional scars have gathered and taken on physical form in Magical Girl Lily. Or maybe metaphysical form, because it's not real. Deep down, she sees it as her other self, and fears that Magical Lily is someone split off from her entirely. And she believes that Lily will one day take control and destroy her and take her place. She sees her uh, other self as an omen that Magical Lily will appear. Subjective Double Syndrome. Old superstition says that if you ever meet your other self, it's a sign you will die soon. That's the curse that's afflicting her. Ever meet your old self, you will die. A uh, shrill laughter seeped out of the clubber. Maria was laughing, but it probably wasn't the real her. You got it. If I ask the agency, I'm sure they'll give me some more. Then I'll have lots of uh, Magical Girl Lily cards to give my, to my favorite big bro. Don't go spoiling Natty too much. I know, I know. Oh, Suzumu, hey, where's Miss Hinagata? She'll be here soon. Oh, it's Suzumu. I'm so glad my big bro is here now. Oh, going straight for the kill now, are we? What do you mean, favoritist? Aren't I your favorite? What does it mean? No, not great. You're still my favorite, Oni-chan, just not my favoritist. Then it's okay, great. <laughs> You're easy to play as Natsu. Hmm? Suzumu? Suzumu? Lydia-chan. 
何お兄ちゃん What's the matter, big bro? 学校での君は布川リリアちゃんだと思うんだ I think you should be Ruru and Nunakawa at school マジカルリリーとして振る舞うのも可愛らしいけどそれはここでの君じゃない Acting like magical lily is cute and all, but it's not who you are here だからそういうのはたまにはいいけど I think it's okay from time to time 学校では少しだけ慎んだ方がいいんじゃないかな But I think you should rein it in while you're at school おいおい、すずはら、なにケチくさいこと言ってんだよ。わおで、すずはら、don't be a party pooper。俺たちちょっとふざけてただけだぜ。ねえ、リリアちゃん。We're just messing around. That's all right, right, Ruru? そうだよね。夏やお兄ちゃん。That's right. As a pass by her, I whispered something only she could hear. マジカルリリーは、もう過去の人なんだ。マジカルリリーは、もう過去の人なんだ。マジカルリリー So please make room for Ruria Kursa, Kursu and Ruria Nurinakawa, please. You're, you're not making any sense, Senpai. What's wrong, Suzuma? This isn't like you. This isn't like you. I guess everybody gets crumpy from time to time. <laughs> A curse, Suzuma Suzuhara. Do you see right through me? A man demon like yourself. Recognize me for who I am. No, he must be bluffing. Curse you, descendant of Mutsu. I suppose it is no wonder we've been linked for thousands of years. <laughs> But no matter how perceptive you may be, there is nothing you can do. Or is there? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, I've been doing a lot of short <laughs> scenes. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll see what this is about. Deep down. Well, I probably realized it a long, go long ago and was only pretending. I really did lose everything when I stopped being cleaning princess. I didn't lose everything. I acted like I lost nothing, but. I was only deluding myself by thinking I could get it all back if I kept working hard. Effort is a beautiful thing, isn't it? But beauty can't solve everything. Maybe you're right. Effort was like fireworks. They were beautiful for a single moment, only to leave nothing behind. The notion that you could succeed by continuously putting in effort was an illusion. <sighs> Suzuhara and I were nestling together in the plain of snowing soot. Suzuhara gently wrapped his arm around my shoulder. <laughs> But no matter how transient fireworks may be, <laughs> that instant remains with me for all eternity. I don't mind if I'm a momentary firework. If I could stay in your heart forever. But truth be told, I feel so much freer because of her. We talked about Magical Lily. I might have been pretty mean about it. But I had to tell you the truth. No one wants her to kusu. Those pigs will only want the ten year old me, no matter how many years pass. Those people, 
Those people don't care how hard you try, how many year, how many tears you shred. You're right. I knew it all along. You just played the villain in order to tell me all this. Thank you. I wouldn't have realized the truth without you. I was weeping, yet I had a smile on my face. I must have looked pathetic. Don't cry. Even if nobody else wants you, I'll be on your side. You're just my dead skin. I'm gonna take over and everybody forget about you. But you're lucky you came across a miracle like Suzumu Suzuhara. I don't see Lily when I look at you at all. I just see Ruria Kurosawa. Kurosu. He's not looking at me at all. He's looking right at you. So, so I figured now was the perfect time to wake up. あんたは消えるわ。レ、あ、リリアクルスよ、ユウヴァニッシュ。でも彼の中であんたは永遠に生きる。But I couldn't ask for any better. It's strange. I should be happy, but I can't stop crying. Suzuhara so strengthened his grip around me a bit. My heart felt like it was soaring. I'll take in all your sorrow as my own for the rest of my life. So, so let's stay together for our eternity. Yes. Suzuhara's so face closed in. My heart felt like it was going to burst. Our nose were practically touching. I could see myself in his eyes. They suddenly glowed scarlet. Just then I suddenly felt drowsy. I'll give myself to Suzuhara right now. I'm a little nervous, but I'm happy. Lydia. My mind went blank as he placed a hand on my cheek. I could barely breathe. Hi. Yeah? Give me everything you are. Hi. I'll give it all to you. I'm so happy, Ruria. Suzuhara slowly took his palm off my cheek and placed it over my stomach. I should have been able to—I shouldn't have been able to feel anything, and yet the gesture sent my heart skyrocketing, and my lungs, lungs went into lockdown. Suzuhara smiled a bit impishly when he saw the look on my face. Next, he slowly rolled up my vest. Uh oh. Exposing the navel. Even so, he kept going, exposing my upper skin in just a glimpse. My mind was completely blank at this point. I said I'd give him everything, but I couldn't imagine I'd already be feeling so nervous after just this. Don't be embarrassed. You're pretty. Suzuhara was simply pressing against my stomach, yet I felt like I was sinking deep into an angel's bed. My strength faded away, leaving me limp like a stringless marionette. Don't be scared. No, I can never be scared of Suzuhara. After all, my mind was completely blank. I heard a groan. Don't be scared. Leave it to me. Uh-oh. I jolted. 
Shizuhara's hand was in me. Not metaphorically, it was literally in me. His hand had completely sunk into my stomach, like it was made of clay. I couldn't believe my eyes. I froze up completely. I couldn't breathe. Okay, let's save. But Suzuhara smiled kindly and whispered in my ear. Don't worry, there's nothing to be scared of. Ooh -hoo. Feels around in your innards, sending electricity surging through my body. Uh, rapture numb my spine. I gasped and salivated before. A uh, pleasure unlike any I felt before. Give yourself to me. No, I can barely breathe. If you were to do that again, I'd suffocate. My body twitched as I moaned. This was how it felt to trust someone with everything. This is the spot, right? His fingers traced my liver, squeezed my little gallbladder. Oh, I'll die. It'll kill me. It's okay. <laughs> I leaked saliva and tears as yellow bile gushed from the opening of my stomach to my intestines. I floated in a sea of the mysterious secretion and entrails. My face warped with the euphoria as I panted, immersed in the afterglow of this unknown pleasure. I gave everything I, I gave everything I had just blah blah blah. I gave everything I had inside to Suzahara, and this bliss was the proof of it. Joy and satisfaction without uh, equal took the place of the pleasure that had struck like lightning. Though red entrails were pouring out of my stomach, it didn't bother me at all. The warmth and tenderness of them were lovelier than anything else. Will you do the same for me? You mean pull out your innards? This time? Hi. Yes, Suzuhara. I wasn't just receiving his love. He wanted to feel the same. Same with you. <laughs> Suzuhara must have been enduring the same surges as me. Uh, my heart ceased up with every cute little moany you let out. What do I do now? <laughs> I felt his innards, his warm entrails and blood vessels quivered in my grasp. It gave me a sense of superiority like I controlled him completely. So it's hard to gas like a baby every time. I just couldn't get enough of it. My fingers literally wrapped around him gave me the pleasure of absolute domination. I felt a twinge of mischief stirring in my heart. Much like how I only had him. I wanted Suzuhara to only have me. I wanted to teach him uh, what, what he'd introduced me to. To make him a slave to the same pleasure. To charm him until I was all he ever thought about. <laughs> You're good at this, Ruria. But you, can, but you can go a bit rougher on him. Guys, Guys like a little spice with their sugar from time to time. All that mattered to me was pleasing Suzuhara. I decided to take Lily's advice. Uh, 
that was a rumble, Suzuhara threw his head back as uh, convulsing organs emerged from his stomach. The two of us became entangled as we were smeared by each other's blood and gore. At that moment, they looked so wondrous, so alluring. <laughs> Dude's intestines gradually rise up when they feel pleasure, they say. So he's enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, just look. There was a dusky clump amidst all the viscera. The way the clump shone and quivered was adorable. Look how they quiver. They're Suzumu's very own guts. His guts. <laughs> Suzuhara was hoping for something and I wanted to give it to him. What was I to do? Something gushed out of Suzuhara's liver with a hiss. It was a dark, muddy substance. <laughs> That's the extract of Suzumu Suzuhara's guts. This is the soot. When you drink that up, you'll turn into magical girl Lily, right? Oh, okay. So she's gonna lie to him and say, you know, it'll give him pleasure or something. Suzuhara. Now's your chance. Make Suzumu, uh, Suzuhara's heart and body yours and yours alone. Suzuhara and I panted rapidly. Our breasts were growing shallower. This would make Suzuhara feel good. And then he'd become mine and mine alone? Suzuhara. I would, uh, oh, sh so she ate the soot. It was bitter and salty and churned my stomach, but I wanted to give my entirety to Suzuhara. <laughs> I drank it all up. When he saw me guzzling down that syrupy extract, Suzuhara threw his head back and trembled. He twitched in the sea of his own entrails as jubilation sculpted his features. I was thrilled to know I had given him such an unimaginable pleasure. I wiped my mouth to find a sticky, sooty liquid uh, touch to it. I looked it up as though it were the finest delicacy there was. My heart was uh, bursting with love for Suzuhara. From then on, whenever his liver grew plump with that extract, I would drink it. At first I hated its bitter taste, but when I realized it was Suzuhara's, it seemed so lovely. The way it twitched was so cute, and the more I drank of it, the more I wanted to tease him. Suzuhara, I swear I'll make you always feel this good, so please stay with me forever. But it's not Suzuhara, but it is Suzuhara. I don't know. He, she can inter she can interact with him from the dream world. Suzuhara. That was actually a shadow. Shadow. That was an excellent dress rehearsal, Raya. Now go and guide the real Suzumu here. No one would interfere here in the dorm. You could share your love for each other as long as you want. Share our love? Suzuhara Suzumu is in the LCSC. Go and the LCSC. Go and bring him here. Once you... Once you do bring him here, drink up all the soot uh, his guts have to offer. Send Suzuhara here, uh, writhing in pleasure, and make him yours and yours alone. That was a sole way to make the one and only, the only one in the world who could uh, see me stay with me forever. Uri's eyes lost all her light, and she staggered out of the dorm. Her target was the LCSC club. 
should bring back Suzumu, slice open his stomach, and drink the soups from his guts. Yay! <laughs> now I just need to wait for my moment to feast. Rio was already an extension of myself at this point. She merely had to call Suzumu Suzuhara over, tear his guts out, and take the soot. My sisters couldn't complain about that. I was the most suitable one to bring about the calamity. I would be the one to bring peace to my brother's soul. <laughs> I have to say, these man demons are very gullible. To think they would give up their hearts so easily to a mere shadow of their beloved. <laughs> the shadow of Suzumu smirked maliciously. The perfect replica of Suzumu on the outside, he couldn't be any more different under the surface. In reality, Suzumu uh, was merely an aggravation, aggregation of malevolent spirits gathered and merged by the divine curse. Doppelganger, meet your other self and your curse to die. Aggregation of malevolent spirits. Lydia, Sonata no meua. Ruria, your fate... Your fate was sealed the moment we met. As for you, Suzumar, Suzumu Suzuhara... Your shadow awaits here as well. Oh, I want it. My envy of the warmth of the living is driving me insane. Soon we'll drag out his uh, guts and leave him not but a living corpse. Savor his Savor his living warmth as much as you please, and teach him the freezing chill of the underworld as you send him to his grave. Ah Oh, I want it, I want it. <laughs> Nothing about Raria seemed off to anyone who passed her by in the hallway. Her eyes were gleaming with uh, brilliantly, her every step brimming with confidence. But things were completely different on the inside. Raria had been completely possessed by the Divine Curse. But none would ever pick up on this, of course. I wonder if Suzuhara is still in the club room. Would his heart skip a beat if I told him I wanted to speak with him in private? The power of the divine, divine curse dwelled in her hand. If she touched someone on the nape of the neck, the curse would flood into them. Then their soul would be sailed in darkness and be turned into a living puppet in the divine curse's beck and call. After that, the brainwashed Suzumu would do what Ruria asked and march toward his own execution. So all she has to do is touch his neck. Oh, Suzumu, he went to the bathroom. Thank you. <laughs> You're gonna barge in on him while he's going potty? Damn, talk about bold, Lillian. I found you. Uh, Riria. Suzuhara. Her eyes flashed scarlet for a moment. The curse's power coursed through her palm. Suzuhara. Yeah? 
相談に乗ってほしいことがあるんです。I was hoping you could ask for some advice. 僕で力になれるのなら。Sure, if you think I can help you. 嬉しいです。それで、その。Glad to hear that, also, I'm. できれば、誰も絶対に来ないところで。I'd like, to ask you, I'd like to ask you in private if possible. Then call me in a night. No, it's gotta be in person. Okay, sure, when? If it's not too much trouble, how about right now? Come on, I get all. ロカってわけにはいかないよね。うん、sure、but it's there's not exactly a lot of privacy around here。あ、それならご安心を。いい場所をすでに見つけてありますので。あ、don't worry about that。I already found us a good place。いい場所って学校の中のこと。in the school。はい。寄宿舎なら誰も来ませんので。yeah、we'll have total privacy if we go to the dorms。今の時期。合宿をやってる部活もありませんので、交通号なんです。There's no club activities, so it's perfect. でも、鍵とかかかってるんじゃないかな。But won't it be locked then? Though Suzumi appeared to cut it, even he was noticing how off this sounded. He seemed somewhat suspicious of Ruri's sudden request. Uh, but Ruri slowly sneaked around his back, like a reptile silently approaching its prey. And then she made her strike. リリアちゃん。Suzumu's body twitched the moment Ruri touched、uh, the back of his neck. After convulsing for a while, he stared blankly at the ceiling, his mouth agape. Suzumu, let's go to the dorm. Okay.、Mm. Suzumu nodded and did as he was told. Ruri coaxed him gently and took her, his hand in hers, almost as though she were a nurse guiding a patient of unsound mind. Suzumu's eyes were devoid of light. He was already a living puppet. I'll do something you like. It's embarrassing, though. But I'll do my best to make you feel great. <laughs> She's gonna take this, the soot from him. I'll drink every drop dry. Okay. I don't know. I want to finish it now, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, Rira entered the dorm. Suzumu locked the door. Thanks to the power of the divine curse, no one would be capable of entering the dorm. Nobody will bother us. If something interrupts this, then I'll stop it. But I, I think something bad's gonna happen here.、Um, but yeah, I might stop in a little bit. But I'll go for a tiny bit longer. The room had already transformed into another world, connecting the human realm and the realm of those not human. Once Suzumu entered the room and shut the door, the scenery warped to the a full whirlwind engulfed the room, staining everything pitch black.、Uh, the area transfigured into a snow field of falling soot in the blink of an eye. <laughs> so, not even Suzuhara Suzumu can do anything before my curse. <laughs> How I want it. I want your living one. Do with him as you please once his guts have been removed. But allow this girl to indulge first. <laughs> The time's come, Ruria. You will now make him yours. Then 
その男の寵愛を永遠とすることで永遠に生きることができるのだ。You'll be reduced to dead skin, washed away without a trace, but you can live forever by earning his eternal affection. Whereas palm shone ominously. She slowly reached her palm out for Suzumo. She undid his buttons. No human could resist the gift of pleasure not of this world. Ah! Rhea brought her hand towards Suzumo's stomach. But just as she was about to touch it, her arm stopped. For Suzumo had, locked, had it locked tight in his grasp. Huh? What? Didia <laughs> chan. You've been suffering in silence too long, Riria. If I can save you from the suffering, then I will. I'll do it, no matter what. <laughs> Suzuma's eyes regained their fair shine. The divine curse couldn't believe what she was seeing. <laughs> That's impossible. You're supposed to be a living puppet. When Riria brought her hand to me, Sara beyond compare, her loneliness coursed into me. Susahara, I want to share your feelings. Riria chan, I want to share your feelings. I want Ruria's pain to become my own. And so I willingly shared your so called curse. You mean you let it happen on purpose? Being human means bearing sorrow, no exceptions. But humans have the strength to march onwards, in spite of all that. Lilia chan, your, strength, your strength is beautiful, Riria. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it here. I know this is a weird stopping point, but we'll we'll pick it up in a little bit. I might even continue it like in a few minutes but yeah we'll stop it here and hopefully we can get the end of Ruria route in the next episode uh i assume he's gonna stop all these things and it's just showing the scenarios where the curse could have won but didn't and then we'll see what happens in the final scenario anyways see ya